the concept of the secret place is one of the mysteries in scripture that is behind unusual manifestations of the life and the power of God upon a man. Welcome to a place absolutely conducive for the Holy Spirit. Experience intimacy, partnership, and fellowship. Do not covet the result of a genuine lover of God if and when you are not. Mm -mm. God, why are you doing this to so-so-so person, so-so-so lady, so-so-so ministry? It is a reflection of the depth of their love for God. The Bible says, no eye has seen. Are we still together? No ear has heard. Neither has it entered into the heart of man what God has in store for them that love him. Not them that use him. Not them that use him for fame. Not those, those that use him to get publicity for ministry. Not those that use him and climb him as a ladder into a great life. There are many men of God who do not love God. Clearly so. There are many church members who do not love God. There are many business people who do not love God. There are many people with Christian names who do not love God. There are biblical indices that show whether or not you love God. So it is not about blind assumption and saying, I love him, he knows. Mm -mm. You are the thirst. You are the stream. You are the hunger living deep inside of me. You are the food that satisfies. You are provision for the journey of my life. You are everything. Listen, when you say, God, I love you, you know what he's going to ask you? Let me see what you can give up for me. So be careful when you want to say, God, I love you. We are used to fake love in this, our wicked world, that we think we can play that politics with God. You don't come to him just faking tears and say, I love you. You can roll from left to right, from pillar to post. When you are done loving, he will tell you, all right. Simon Bajona, lovest thou me more than this? Do you love me more than ministry? Do you love me more than titles? There are people who would throw God away to protect ministry. There are people who would throw God away to protect their ego. I am a man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. There are people who would throw God away. If their money is falling down, they would throw God and hold the money and say, God, you are a miracle worker. Rise back. But this money, if it falls, I don't know if it will come back again. There are people who would throw God away and say, my pedigree. I went to school. I read X, Y, Z. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, the men and the women that God will do mighty things with in today's world are people who are dead to every other thing. The price for all of God is all of you. You've heard me say it. The price, listen, the price for all of God is more, you will need more than your brain for God to do business with you. The price for God is more than English and preaching. Oh dear one, it takes more than good English. To put a generation at the command of heaven. We are discussing relationships now. Hallelujah. There are, Valentine is two days now after now. There are many people whose lives are going to nose dive. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. But nose dive, they have not even stayed well with God. And they look forward, they are planning all kinds of things minus God. They bought flowers, they bought, they paid for the venue that they will use, and there is no God in that factor. God, I'm used to you interrupting my joy. Stand back. When I need you, I'll come. This one now, look, let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it is the foolishness of loving God that brought us this far. Never get to a point where you become too intelligent. 
too western to become that baby are we together there are many people right now is pedigree and pest and prestige that has come to a point where it has replaced God and pushed God out of their lives you know when we started we were poor people no money but now we are billionaires we are talking serious things my phone can't fall down my clothes do you know the amount and while you talk all that nonsense the realm of the spirit is watching you the rich fool in one day came down his life was even demanded from him ladies and gentlemen please hear me your passion for God is not about fanatism and it's not about being a preacher do not leave passion for God to just pastors and preachers and say me God has called me into entrepreneurship he knows that I can't love him the way who told you that go and find out the people who love God as governmental figures like Daniel as economists like Joseph they were not preachers yet you could not argue their love for God the question God is asking you right now is Simon Bajona lovest thou me more than this because the way many of us are pressing into life we're ignoring God we're just satisfied that at least I remember coming out for an altar call and I don't care about anything spiritual but if we begin to talk about money and business and rising now you are speaking my language some of you your love language is money repent <laughs> repent now listen please don't don't I'm not being sarcastic I'm serious here teaching are we together now repent you are the thirst you are the street you are the hunger living inside of me you are the fool that satisfies you are provision for the journey of my life you are everything hallelujah i will keep saying it for as long as i am alive I will give up koinonia and close it down a thousand times to maintain my relationship with God. Believe me, this is not just a, an empty talk that I'm saying on stage. Are we together? Something more than gold. I've got something more than gold. Something more than gold I've got something more than gold If all I have is Jesus I've got something more than gold I will tell it to the world So the first dimension of relationship You want doors to open for you It is with God with God the first dimension of relationship and let me tell you this you are here and you've not encountered the God of the Bible when I make the altar call I want you to run wherever you are just know that this is why Jesus brought you here give us John 17 verse 3 it says and this is eternal life that they may know thee not that they may recite a prayer alone this is eternal life that they may know thee the only true God I have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found that I have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found Until you get to a point in your life, ladies and gentlemen, 
where God means everything to you your love and your passion for Jesus your love and your passion for the things of the Spirit has consumed you and is above every other desire then you are not ready for the relationship that opens doors there are men who will stand in an empty space but because of their love for God he will carry a door wherever it is bring it in front of them and open it that is how far he can go he said I have loved you with an everlasting love and I have drawn you with my loving kindness it's time to return back to your love life thank God that this is a period that is celebrated world over it's a, it's a period of love your first love is not your husband it's not your wife it's not your children it was because of him that they all arrived don't let their presence drive him Are we together now? Jesus, the lover of our soul. This is how we started. Blind, sincere, honest pursuit for him. Lord, if you never bless me, you still have my all. If you never lift me, you still have my all. Not Lord, I'm giving you two weeks. If you don't move, don't blame me. All those kinds of things. No. I love you sincerely it is not about preaching it is not about all of that no the song we sing they all belong to you and even the air I breathe your hands on your head in one minute and repent from every kind of idolatry Lord I don't know what has taken your place in my life the pursuit for things the pursuit for fame the pursuit for money the pursuit for positions cry to the Lord this night oh I return I return oh lover of my soul oh lover of my destiny I return church stole my heart from you marriage stole my heart from you a job stole my heart from you fame stole my heart from you naira and cobble and dollars and pounds stole my heart from you but I return someone cry I return I return in the name of Jesus I return Shabrekete pereko skati barus skati prende ke pereko skotu praskiata ah yaka sabando shodo prekete belegeta you are praying one more minute take all of me all of me lord you have my everything take all of me all of me you have my everything I love you more than ministry I love you more than prophecy I love you more than marriage I love you more than children I love you more than a job I love you more than business excellence I love you more than financial prosperity 
Someone pray, someone pray. No destruction. Man of God, it's time for your love for ministry to go behind the cross and never replace your love for Jesus. It's time for your love for fame and power even though carrying the semblance of spirituality to go behind the cross and to see Jesus alone lifted as an expression of your love. It's good to excel. It's time for your love and your desire for material things to move behind in the queue that nothing and no one should sustain the ability to take his place in your life. Oh, if I perish, let me perish loving you. If I go forward, let me go forward loving you. If I mark time, let me mark time loving you. If I rise, let me rise loving you. Everything I will ever get that will demand my not loving you, may it never come. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Now listen carefully. When Jesus started with the disciples who would later be apostles of the Lamb, he called them and they became his disciples. But as that intimacy grew, many things started happening to them. One day Jesus said, I no longer call you brethren, but friends. Is that in your Bible? He was, she was telling them something that you have scaled a height. You have demonstrated your love. You have survived a lot. Do you know what it means for God to give you a title called the friend of God? Who in the Bible had that name and what followed the destiny that had that name? Abraham was called more than a prayer warrior, more than a fasting giant. It is a noble title for God to call you his friend because in friendship there are no secrets. There is the opening of secrets. God can beckon on you. Shall I hide this from my friend Abraham? I can hide this from my creation, but not my friend. Abraham, this is what I want to do. Let me give you a chance as a friend. And Abraham came not just as God's creation, but as a friend and said, hold on. Since you have called me your friend, allow me to negotiate. I have an interest in Sodom and Gomorrah. Someone who was my friend before, but allowed the quest for material things to drive him away because of that friendship. Remember, the guy in the room did not call him friend, but the one outside still said, for as long as there is one person still carrying that point of connection, he said, let me advocate for Lot. Perhaps if there are 50 people, perhaps if there are 40 people, that was a negotiation that was at the table of friendship. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. I didn't call him all. I am a friend of God. How can I dare call him friend? The creator of the ends of the earth. But I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. So do not be surprised when you see the benefits of friendship following certain people. Do not, the Bible said there is a friend that sticketh closer. Shall I hide this? I don't know who God is speaking to, but there are people here tonight, God is saying there is a deeper level of friendship. Come, come. This nominal Christianity, this surface thing here and there, dealing with God like an idol, like a stranger, as if it's a stone carved somewhere. 
we serve God as if we are practicing idolatry. There is a functional relationship with proof. Come. 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 There is a river for you. Come. God is pushing someone. Come. There is a deeper dimension. More than just church. More than just nominal Christianity. It's a deeper dimension like Ezekiel 47. Oh, there is a river. God is calling a man of God. Hold on about ministry and come deeper. You will be more effective when you become my friend. Lion of Judah, the Lamb upon the throne, I hail you, Moussa, Shema Sema Nadia, the Lion of Judah, the Lamb upon the throne. Because a friend always answers. When I call you, you will answer me. Whenever I call you, you will answer me. Hear me. There are some of you after this service, you may need to rush and go for a retreat. God is speaking to you. The destiny you are seeing and the level of relationship you are giving God, you can't arrive there. That is not how a prophetic mantle will land on you. That is not how an apostolic call will come. It's not by buying suits and sharing cards. No, there are, there are rivers, ladies and gentlemen. You have to dive deep into the river. Job said there is a, there is a path that no fowl has seen. The webs of the lion has not gotten there very deep dimensions of intimacy with God that is where power resides in the spirit that is where rest resides in the spirit